This is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, question number 64. Which expression is, equi is an equivalent form of this gigantic uh, setup for all values of a, b, and c for which the expression is defined? Now I'm going to show you one way to do this one um, just the regular way. Normally we're going to combine like terms and that whole thing, work with exponents. And then I'll show you a way that you can do it in the calculator, which is basically cheating. And then uh, you can use that if that's the way you want to go about it. I don't suggest you use the second method, but it is there. So I'm going to write this a little bit bigger so I can start and talk about it in a more appropriate, mathematically appropriate way, I should say. Now, the reality is uh, whatever I do to the numbers in front of the exponents, I do one less thing on the order of operations to the exponents themselves. So when this says 8 divided by 44, what I'm going to do with the like exponents would be subtract, because if we do the order of operations here, I've got parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So 8 over 44 means divide, so when I do the exponents, I'm going to subtract them. So let me continue to write this all the way out. I forgot to finish there. That's a key component. So what I'm going to do first is just do the division for the uh, 8 and 44. And if I take 8 and divide it by 44 and reduce it into fraction form, I end up with 2 over 11. So anything with 2 over 11 is right. And they all have 2 over 11, so that shouldn't be too hard. Now from here, I'm going to compare my A values on the in the numerator and in the denominator. I tend to circle the one that's the biggest to remind me to put the result on that side of the dividing line. So 8 is bigger, 14 is bigger, and 12 is bigger. And like I said, we're going to subtract. So I do 8 minus 2, which is 6. So I leave 8, a to the 6th power on top. Now for the b's, uh, 14 minus 7 is 7. The circle's on the bottom, so I put b to the 7th on the bottom. And finally, uh, c's, 12 is on the bottom, and it's the, bigger one, it's the bigger one. 12 minus 3 is 9, so I get c to the 9th power. And if I get all the way to that point, I can say pretty confidently that the answer to number 64 is b. Now, that was really easy, so there really shouldn't be any reason that you would need to go and use this calculator method, but you can use it. I just wanted to show it to you anyway. Let me uh, bring up the old calculator here. Now, what we're going to have to do, we're going to use for our A, we're actually going to use our X value in your calculator, which mine is set at 10. Your may be, yours may be set at something else. As long as it's not 0, you're OK. And if you, it is 0, go into the window, change the X, max, and min, graph something, and it'll match uh, whatever you just picked. Um, for B and C, I need to set values. So I'm going to say that B is 5 and C is um, three. And I just pick those at random. You can make them whatever you want, as long as it's easy to deal with. So what I'm going to do is type the numerator in in a parenthesis. So I'm going to hit eight. And where instead of a, I'm going to put x to the eighth power times. And remember, b is going to be five here. So I'm going to do five to the seventh power times. And then c is three. So three to the third power that's the numerator. And then I need to divide by the denominator, which of course goes in parentheses as well. 44 x to the second power, because once again, our x value and our a are the same, times, and our b value is 5, so 5 to the 14th, times c to the 12th, so we said c was 3, so 3 to the 12th power. Close that parentheses there hit enter, and I get this number. What I'm going to do is type in the other answer choices and see if I can match it. Now, we suspected that the answer was B, and I'm hoping this works because I don't want to have to shoot this again, uh, but we'll see what happens. So the top should be 2. We said A was our X to the 6th power. You close this out, and then you use the divide here. Once again, parentheses, 11, and then I'll do uh, B is times 5 to the 7th power times c is 3 to the ninth power. I hit enter, and I get exactly the same thing. The other answer choices wouldn't match the original number. And like I said, there's no mathematical validity to doing it this way. I would suggest you follow the pattern that we did in the beginning, because it's really simple to do this type of question. But if all else fails, and you're getting down to the end, and it's 25% of your grade, sometimes you have to make sacrifices of your mathematical integrity to get the answer. So there's another way that you can do it. Uh, good luck.